my dad was a carpenter ever since I can remember. So I seen my dad do construction and I'm like, hey, I'll do construction too, but instead of using brawn, I'll use my brain and um, give that a whirl. What how we started on a shoestring budget and had to rely heavily on just sure hope that it would work. We, we actually started out by spending more money on technology than anything else. Being introduced to machine control definitely helped out a lot. It gives us that ability to uh, perform at a high level with uh, less people on some of these major projects. And there's companies that are twice our size that we're competing with and we're beating them because they don't, they don't embrace that technology. You know, and it, it's got to come from the top. It really does, is that, you know, Will believes in the technology, Elliot believes in the technology, and I believe in the technology. That's just kind of been our culture from day one. You know, first first job we knew we were going to do GPS. We wanted to limit having a subcontract work out. We wanted to keep that money for ourselves, handle it in-house. And um, we knew it could be a profit center for our job if we managed it properly. I was told I made the mistake of, you know, I was thinking this job was very simple and we weren't gonna put a base station on this job. One road in, you know, same road out, 13 lots on each side of that road. I didn't think nothing of it, I guess. He's like, you know how much time I could have saved you and layout and not to mention just the, the machine control. And I said, now that you mention it, yeah. From, from grading house pads for one custom home to your smaller subdivisions, typically uh, 20 lots or less, most guys, use grade stakes. Uh, still even on your bigger subdivisions like this one, um, several hundred lots, they're still using grade stakes. So when the operator runs out of room to push fill and they're waiting on grade stakes, that's when you lose all your production. It's a completely different process to what I use now with the GPS and it's a lot faster. I can more easily flow from pad to pad and with the stakes, you know, on a good day, be able to get around 10 pads done, but with this GPS system, I get, can get upwards of 30 pads done in, in a day. They can pull up our models from AgTech and go, okay, I know what dirt needs to be moved. Our, our superintendents can come in and our foreman can come in and we'll show them on that, where, where the heavy cut fills are, where, where dirt is actually being moved to. Now in their mind, they have a, a understanding of, of what needs to be done. And moving dirt one time is the key to making money. You can't afford to, to move it and then move it back and then move it and move it back and guess at it. Yeah, I'll use the 3D view a lot, um, boxing out the road so I see where the curb line is, but I use it the most I'm doing on ponds because I can ro rotate the machine and perfectly see where my top of the bank is and the edge of my blade and to be able to give it a, a nice crisp line and cut it clean. It, it kind of streamlines the process of getting plans and CAD files from engineer into our hands, getting our models built, getting out to the field and there's no lag on having to schedule someone or juggle your own s survey crew to get the layout you need. It's all right there. So and, and you got rovers in the hands of your foreman or if you do have your own party chief, your own surveyor, it's a lot quicker. It's it just it's a whole lot quicker than the old way of doing things. I used to spend one hour for every storm box I stay. One hour. I can do 20 an hour now. As fast as we can walk to them, we can do them, just poof them out offset. And they're offset exact. They're not a guesstimated offset. The tilt is definitely my go-to favorite feature. Just strictly out of quick. It's fast, it's accurate. You can reach down in an invert and shoot it and you're gone. You don't have to figure out, am I plumb? Am I straight down in the pipe or nothing else? Just stick it in there, hit enter, and you're gone. You got it. That's a feature that I don't know. I'd never seen it, never heard of it until they teased me with it. Then they told me it was expensive I couldn't have it. Then I found out it really isn't much money. It works. That I love that. And, and I'm fond of the tablet and the functions I'm getting out of it. It's made my life easier. I don't run around with a whole bunch of tap, notepads and a calculator. They're operating it efficiently. We know the finished product's gonna be perfect, you know, because that's what machine control does. It leaves you with a picture perfect, exactly how it was designed to work in that model product. So, um, to me, it, it takes a lot of the guesswork out. Like, is it right? 
yes, the work is right. So the only part we got to get down after that is production. So having the machine control and having that technology and having these young guys who don't have that barrier or aren't af afraid to jump in a dozer and figure out, figure out how to use machine control, to me, that's, it's just a huge step. And, and once again, it's taking these good operators that we bring on and making them great operators. I actually just noticed some curb that was poured wrong, and I caught it with the GPS, with the line work, and they had to tear it out and report. It takes a lot of the human error out of it, because like by stakes, you can grade an area and look at it and be like, that looks dead flat. But you put a GPS machine on it, and you might have a six, in, six eight inch hump in the middle of that area you gotta cut out, or even a low spot. So with the GPS system, it, it gets it dead on, and you can confidently go through an area and grade it, and know it's perfect and walk away from it. You know, and we've had operators that, that we've put in that chair for the first time, and, oh, I can't stand this thing. And after a day, they're like, man, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. The uh, sales rep talked to me for just a couple minutes, and I was able to jump in the dozer and get to work with it. There was no fumbling through menus or trying to figure out how to use it. When seasoned operators initially don't want to try new software, you show it to them, show them what it can do, let them have some seat time with, with the new system, and then within a week, they would, they would never run anything else. It's all they want to run. It looked simple, it looked easy. It didn't look intimidating to sit in front of the screen and, and navigate. And that's why I made a choice to go in that direction. Past systems I've used, you had to go into the menu and uh, fumble through two or three menus just to bump your grade up to 10. Whereas this system is just a button on the joystick so I can adjust it on the fly. We just don't even have to think about it. We just set the base up, set the dozer up and go to work. There's very few people that have seen the whole spectrum that I went through, from dropping a plumb bob and pulling a chain to coming out here riding around in the truck reading these lots. That lap that I made out here in that truck would take a half a day with a level to read what we read in 20 minutes. So how do you beat that? We use that technology to make our, our working environment safer and more efficient so that our owners see that, which gives us the edge. And they're, they're calling for us. We have a lot of people calling and asking us to do work for them. And, and unfortunately, you know, we can only do so much. And yeah, they see the technology, they see the professionalism, which is something I tell everyone here is, you know, what everyone else is doing, I think we can do it better. And then on top of such a great system, you've got some of the best support. The technical support at Leica is nothing less than perfect as compared to anybody else because I mean there were times in the other systems where if I had a, 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 a problem with the software on the dozer I would have to wait till somebody could come out here and fix that three four weeks or if a piece of hardware went down you can make a phone call they can log into your system from wherever they are um, change data, fix fix your problem from over the phone, and you're back up. You're you're back running in a matter of minutes. That's that's a big that's a big factor. Because time is money. We can't afford to lose production, um, and our owners don't want us to lose production because that slows the end product of the job down. They've got these timelines they've got to make. It's made it easier. Yeah, I mean, there's a learning curve to figure the technology out. There's a learning curve to train employees. Um, but we've had great support in implementing our technology and the technology, in my opinion, from when I sat down and, and you know, they, they showed me what they had versus what I had used in the past, I agree. After having trouble with support through the years, I was very impressed with how easy it is to get answers. And that was a pleasant surprise because I've struggled so much through the years. You have to be able to trust your technology that you're using because if you can't trust it, then it's really not doing you a whole lot of good. And I've been down the road with some other brands, which I'll relieve nameless. No matter how good of input I put into it, the output wasn't as good. They're very technology based. You know, they strictly use GPS and trying to get the latest and greatest with everything. And that was definitely a big part of coming over here. I'm excited because I've, I've worked with other companies where 
they weren't getting the youth. They may not have all the experience that some of these older operators have, but they also are a little bit more moldable. And I think it makes kind of building that culture, especially from a technology standpoint, a little bit easier. The most important asset is our people. Uh, that's all of us. We're a big, huge family. Uh, there's 80 of us that come together that take care of each other every day. Those, that is the most important thing. I can replace the technology uh, if it breaks. You know, it's I can go get a new one. People, I can't. And I hope and pray that these are guys that will work the rest of their careers with us. I mean, how special is that going to be if I've got a guy who has been here since he's been 20 years old and he works here till he's 60? Imagine the experience he's had and all the people he could train and bring up underneath him and get to be a part of that. That's what excites me. And I hope I can keep them all, but we'll see. And eventually we'll just keep growing and, and do more and more, but I wanna do more and more without having to just throw bodies at it. I wanna be able to use the information that we can have readily available, you know, with our plans, our ag tech models, our GPS models. I want to be able to do that so that we can go out there and do the same amount of work with half the amount of people. It's a level playing field. You can't make it today doing it old school. It's just way too hard, it takes too long, and you'll never make a profit. And now the boxes we're checking are, okay, we got the work, can we get the work done? And can we make money on it? And those are the boxes we're checking after year one. Jobs are getting closed out. You know, we're making money on jobs and we're rolling into the next, next set of jobs and projects.